Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. Today we're going to be making our way to the Green Forest and hopefully doing our first significant rival battle in the fight. Also, we do have the XP share now. Now we're rid of Brown. Play on his barracks, lowest both attack and special attack. Shimmer for Pikachu's, because they will only have Thundershock. Means to be them a lot easier. He's a really good spray for Shimmer. And Bug Trainer. You guys can't tell I don't have much fear of these guys, just because they are Bug Trainers. Ball for Shimmer. Shimmer. Just the bubble I've been that. Ooh, Rain Pass for Trainer. Thunder Shock everything. Makes it easier. Which one is up front? For some reason, Luna's only a big mushroom. Take that. Get an item from Zigzag from Pickup. Nope, we're taking that. Nope, we're not. And you controls. And another big mushroom. Okay, those are actually really good for later. What item does Shimmer have? Max of Health. Odd items, okay. Ivy has a berry, I already knew that one. I would actually have to take that. I was like, I'm not going to. Oh, Vulp! Did everyone get pick up? Okay, as everyone picks up items. Okay, interesting. I'll put Luna up front. Maybe it does battle ability, honestly, but. Gives him some battle time. Also, because getting a little weak on health for both of them, so. Okay. Poison powder. Take that over growl from now. Speed power is going to be a no. Oh. Let's get... Do the first battle. Or not the first battle. Do the enough. A little tired right now, so... I'm not 100% there. But I know it isn't great when doing this lock, but... I have limited time to my core, just so I gotta do what I gotta do. Pokeball. Okay, carry I'm gonna switch it to Spupa, because I don't like that. Let's switch over to Zig Zig. Snow is actually not a bad move. I don't think it's happening. Okay, let's try Snow. Oh, Snow is much better. Okay. Okay. The bug. Okay, it's good. Mark Smash here. We'll do that later. Spears level 10, gets acid. Okay. Come up up to Pewter City. Come. Okay. So now I'm gonna explore a little bit. I think we can get some item stuff in here. I think this guy sells an egg. And we don't have enough money for it. Um fossils. 
has no place to be a bomb. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. There. Keep leaving to the rock. Let's go. Here has something. If not, we'll just go back down and challenge a rock. Okay, that do anything. I don't think there's any fishing spots we can do in this, we can't get that. Okay. Okay, so it's telling us about the randomized routes, which we can do. Okay. Well, we're gonna run back and fight a rival. Rest. Come on, just to get the experience I need, we can do other fights. Really wish Luna would learn a rock type. Very nice. Electro Ball. I'll take that over tail because fast distribution has so great the damage. That's not a bad one for the ball. Well, the crack is going to be pretty fast compared to the competition. Back to three. And go inside. Get a healing game on if we can get inside the door. Game hyper speed. Okay. So I don't know who he's gonna start off with in this fight, honestly. So I'm gonna put up Shimmer, just kind of as a broad off in case he's a charmander. So I think he's gonna have a flyer. So it's either of those, Shimmer can handle both. Hey, Gamester. You're after the Pokemon. Like, forget about it. If I don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without it. By the way, do your Pokemon get any stronger? I have honestly no level idea what level is going, but I can't imagine it's gonna be that high. Okay, so we start off with Scarly. Level 9, which I believe means his star will be around level 11, so it's actually not a terrible idea. I'm gonna electro ball that. I'm not sure if this will kill, but it probably will. Okay, one shot to Starly. Next up is the Charmander. Okay, oh, still looking right, huh? Okay, bubble you. I was only impressing that bubble you. Almost one shots it, lowers its speed. But we have to spend it anyways, so we're not a problem. Alrighty. We need rival pups. We just lucked out. Top, top trainers. Okay. Oh, bye, Putz. Here, get the potion. Nice. Can't get that. Here, I'm gonna be doing some more training. Didn't intend to fight this, but so I'm meant to be training inside here. We do have one gym, well, not wait. Yes, a gym leader, but at the same time, not a gym leader. You guys understand what I mean, unless you've already played through Radical Red, in which case you already know. Mm -hmm. 
Shockwave. I would take that over Super Sonic. Because Super Sonic's too inactive for my liking. Shockwave's a guarantee hit. So, not a terrible move. Headbutt, that's definitely better than tackle. Oh, by a long shot, actually. I think they increase his base power in this game. Luna's level 13, can you please learn a rock type move, Luna? I wanna get out of here. Oh, break down. Cricket pot. I'm going to switch six eight up front. And if you guys don't know already, there is a level cap in this game. So for each of the gym badges you get, there's a level cap in between. And I'm basically training up right to that level, which I think is 15. I mean, it'll be pretty easy to tell when your Pokemon stop really gaining any experience. Um, I'll take Daytime because I honestly won't really use some tackles that often. I don't like the recoil, but it's also not terrible to have. Could be a worse option out there. The figure's gonna do that. We had to go for a secret, make leveling a little bit easier. Both is at 14. I'm going to switch Shimmer up front. Squeams doesn't have really any good attacking moves, aside from Poison Sting, which at least isn't that great. Nothing. Don't worry about the Pikachus. I'll pick those items, so take that. We got antidote. No. Take that. Super potion, that's not bad. Even though we can't use them in battle, we only use old items in battles. Which yes is a rule in this, so I'm gonna have to prepare for that. A big mushroom. And another antidote. That would have been terrible as I'm probably doing against Brock. It could have been semi useful, I think. I mean, I don't really know. Because I've never used a Snom like ever. Or it's evolved one for that matter. So both are foreign to Pokemon to me. But unless I still have a tendency to force you out of your comfort zone with Pokemon you use. Still no Rock type moves for Luna, are you kidding? Like, what level does it burn a freaking Rock type? Celerox, something. At least he's getting a lot of items. A great ball, so that's good for catching. <laughs> Do this or probably might not come back on the turn. There we go. 14 for Shimmer, 14 for Zigzag. Does Williams have any other moves? 
take this item. Got the big mushroom. It'll be good later. For the certain parts we need to roll in. Uh, at least has something. I'll just put you up front for a little bit before I get into some. At least it can't be poison, so that's not a terrible thing. You can poison them in the car. Ooh, toxins. Okay, well, poison seems like not good. I didn't want to get rid of it, but acid's better, so that's actually not terrible. Honestly, poison wasn't that big a loss to me. Got scared that I got rid of water gun, though. That would have been not great. Save for we're at the face bra. Well, not this episode, but eventually. He's like the next major boss in our way. Oh, we found a potion was lying on the ground there. Sweet. Pikachu, Shimmer Steam, Bubble It, Focus 15, I don't think any Pokemon are capable of evolving before the first gym, that's a bit of annoyance. Bobber running back and forth. Oh, did not mean that. That's not you. Oh, they can't use the primary monkey glasses. I love it. Okay. We're getting close. Oh, no, no, no. Taking items. An Ultra Ball. That's good if there's something we really, really want. Tiny Mushroom. Thank you. Don't. Berry should be preferred. Thank you. Don't. Okay, so it is. Switch six in the front. Yes, finally. Finally, finally, finally. I will take that over the leader. I figured I had to get one, like, some point. I was going to say it was absurd that I hadn't. Maybe don't want this. Q stare that lowers the foe's attack stat. Be sure to go first. Okay, that's not actually that bad. That could actually be really, really helpful. I'll take the over Leer for sure. So we need Squilliam and Shimmer now. We're gonna go heal. Okay, I'm up here and heal. This is what this a lot of this game is gonna be this is grinding up. Because you can't just stick with the same team in this game, you have to switch it up. We get back to him. Take the choose. Almost there. Damn it, we didn't do that. Another one. Wait a maybe Pikachu aren't as uncommon as I thought they were, but I thought they were pretty rare. 
Could have just been the original game. Might have changed it to this. Items. That. Heavy mushroom. It depends on the area that you're in, what items you're gonna get. Antidote. And a tiny mushroom. A pumpkin. Okay, we're not expecting you. Sounds scorpions. And ask me. Okay, here we go. Squeal is gonna go in front. Over done. Get scorpions at the level, and then we'll go in and take the first major fight on him. Which I already have a semi solid strategy for. Semi, we don't have the best team, but we have a decent team for it actually. But yeah, I already know kind of what to expect, so it's not completely out of the realm of possibility for us to be really fine here. But it's more just I'm not taking chances on this one. It's mostly because we don't have a good starter option here. That being we chose Bull before. I'm not talking about Brock. But Brock, he's gonna be still tough, but we still should be fine against him too. I'm talking about the fight before Brock. So there is a gym leader kind of fight that we have before Brock. Here, we'll see what I'm talking about in a second. This is why I did a lot of prep. Or is getting worried that we weren't gonna get a rock type move. Doesn't tip you and I don't know what way. So a berry pouch. Give people who are going to be fighting a berry. It's gonna be Luna. It's gonna be Volka. Zigzig. It's gonna be Shimmer. Oh, William there. And Shimmer. Because I don't want Ivy in this fight at all, because Ivy will get one shot by pretty much any move that this person probably gonna have. Do I have enough? Oh wait a minute, I got him, I got him. I'm here to sell some stuff to be gathered. Like, I don't really want the repels. Keep the potions because they can be useful. Keep those. Sell the antidotes. They are paying nothing for this trick. Fine, I'll go with the tiny mushrooms. The big mushrooms are more valuable. I'm gonna buy that egg. I'm gonna put something in the box, but I'll have to in between episodes. If it's something useful, I might. You know what? I'm just gonna take a pause the episode and do that real quick. I'll take Ivy out because I don't want Ivy's not gonna be bad. I'm still gonna bring Ivy to the fight just because it can take possibly one hit. I need a switch. This egg could be really useful, and I'm going to run back and forth until it hatches. So I will be right back in the pause recording. Now I'll cut back in when it hatches. All right, took a little bit, a lot longer than I actually thought it was going to take. Let's hatch it. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a Dino. Mm. I'm gonna name you Drake. Not what I was expecting coming out of that egg at all. Obviously, wasn't sure what I was expecting. The first time I ran into this game when I bought that egg. Uh, when I was just playing through it on my own time, I got an Omen, um, not an Omen star, an Omen Knight out of it. Okay, let's just check this thing out real quick. It's not, it might actually be worth training up. Oh, those are some amazing stats. It's got Hustle, so it's not the best of it, but Dragon Rage, that could be really good at this point. I'm not gonna take it into this upcoming battle, but I might train it up and take it on against Brock. That could actually be a really damn good thing to have. 
I'm gonna take Ivy back. Also, while I was wondering, I got some more pickup items. Uh, got some orange berries. I'm gonna give one of those over to Ivy. Just in case of emergency. You never know. Or to have it or not. I was not expecting a dragon this early. Like, I didn't even. Like, I know I could look at the list to see what could hatch out of those eggs. There's no point in it. Okay. Berry pouch. Yep. What numbers I give? Oh, that's why. I completely blanked on the fact that I had taken the numbers that I had already given. And it wasn't a pickup thing because they were had items they were holding, so you couldn't. Yeah, you guys can see that I'm kind of an idiot about these things, but. I'm gonna head in here to the museum so we can actually access the main gym to do. Here? You know, this is a purple hair fellow. Kinda looks like Kane from uh, Pokemon Reborn over here. So let me see who I have a friend. Explain up front. I'm gonna actually take him back. I'm gonna put a bulk up front. And we're gonna head into this. I'm afraid that I'm ready for this. Hmm. Give me any information on Mega Stones. Oh, hi there. I'm Faulkner, a Jimmy from Johto. I'm traveling in Canada to look for information on Mega Evolution. I haven't found nothing so far. Is that what you're looking for? I can spare some time. I'm demonstrating the power of Elk and Bird Pokemon. Alright, here we go. Eater Faulkner. Found for the Wingle. Okay, Volka. Head for the Thundershock. And he switches. I should have known he was gonna do that. Yep, figured he was gonna do that. This mocha's kind of a pain because it doesn't like mirage, so I can't use any electric attacks on it. It's kind of his counter to the electric types that you bring into this fight. I think air cover would kill in one shot. Okay, so we can take another one. Barry. Go in for another quick attack. I think he has a berry on this Amoga. He does. Okay, so please get rid of the berry. Hi, Air Cutter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to switch in Shimmer. The reason for this because Shimmer also like probably won't take much damage from Air Cutter. But also Shimmer does have Volt Absorb. Which, if it decides to go for an electric attack, would be helpful. All we can hurt it with is bubble. That's honestly fine. So I have another plan for this. So at this moment, I'm going to get Shimmer out. I'm going to send in Squillia. Or I believe she. Yeah, because if I send out Squillium's it will proc a Thunder Shock or a Thunder Bowl, whatever it is. Razor, William can live this. Okay, yeah, even a crit wouldn't have killed. So now, switch back in Shimmer, take the electric move, heal, and keep going with the bubbles. Because we can't use any other form of items. Because I'll just preserve our berry for when we need it. Those at speed. I'm not sure if we'll still be faster than because the mobs are pretty fast, but okay, we are. Good. Okay, so this is going really good. I was like, no one's gaining any speed points. But honestly, we may have been fine not over leveling, but I didn't really want to take the chance. Water pulse, unless it confuses, won't do that much to us. I think it should one shot being quite effective. Yes, it does. We still haven't taken our berry off. He knows about it now. I'm going to set up a Thunder Wave to try to slow this thing down. Rock Smash. Okay, we could live that. Okay. 
Got Barry Prox didn't get defense drop. So he should be a decent bit faster now with that paralysis. So I'm gonna go for an electric ball. I think we should still live a rock smash. Even at a crit, I think we can live it. We okay, he lives that. Okay. Don't crit. Okay. I know we're faster, I'm just gonna go for the acro ball. I'm not gonna take the chance of switching or having something else happen. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Spooked me a little bit at the end there, but we made it out alright. Hmm. I have much to learn even before attaining the Mega Stones. Thank you for a wonderful battle. Game store is it? I hope you meet again. I don't have a badge to give you, unfortunately, but you can have this. We get Roost. Which I don't think anyone can learn. But it'll be a nice move if we do catch a flyer or a Pokemon that can learn there. Because Roost is a really good move when a Pokemon can learn it. Which I kind of wish one of our Pokemon could going into Brock, but I know I already know that none of them can. Because none of them have wings any flying attributes or anything like that. Alright. Well, then I'm gonna run heal up. And I'm going to go train with that Dino. And hopefully. And next time we'll go against Brock. Ah, all better. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Again, like I said, next episode we take on Brock. God, I haven't done an intro in so long, so I'm throw it's throwing me off. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next Pokemon Radical Red Nose Live. I need to get back in the swing of things. Alright, see you guys later.